Have you ever wondered what's lurking beneath the surface of your everyday internet browsing? Welcome to the first stop on our journey into the fascinating world of the dark web. This vast, hidden realm is an integral part of the internet, yet it remains inaccessible through standard browsers. Picture the internet as an iceberg. The tip of the iceberg visible above the water represents the surface web. This is the part of the internet we all know and use daily. It's where we scroll through social media, read news articles, and shop online. However, this visible part comprises only a fraction of the entire iceberg. Beneath the surface of the water lies the deep web, making up the majority of the iceberg. The deep web refers to all the web pages that search engines cannot find. This includes pages like your personal email inbox or your online banking account. While these pages are hidden from search engines, they are not necessarily secretive or illicit. And then we have the mysterious dark web, the deepest, most hidden part of the internet iceberg. It's a part of the deep web, but it's distinguished by its requirement for special software to access, like Tor, which allows users to remain anonymous and untraceable. The dark web is often associated with illegal activities due to this anonymity, but it's not all nefarious. It also provides a platform for whistleblowers, activists, and those living under oppressive regimes to communicate safely. So, the internet is a vast complex iceberg with three distinct parts, the surface web, the deep web, and the dark web. Each has its unique characteristics and uses, but it's the dark web that often piques our curiosity and raises eyebrows due to its mysterious hidden nature and the cloak of anonymity it offers. So, if you're curious to find out more, come along as we delve deeper into the enigmatic world of the dark web. Imagine needing a special key to unlock a door to a hidden world, that's how accessing the dark web works. It's not a simple click and surf scenario like we're used to with our standard internet browsers. Accessing the dark web requires a special browser known as Tor, short for the onion router, a name that gives a clue to its functionality. Imagine the layers of an onion. Tor operates in a similar way, wrapping your internet connection in layers of encryption, like an onion. Each layer of this digital onion peels away as it passes through different nodes or relay points, ensuring your connection is anonymous and untraceable. It's like passing a note around a room, where each person only knows the sender and receiver directly adjacent to them, making it impossible to trace the note's origin or final destination. Now, let's dispel a common myth. Accessing the dark web in itself isn't illegal. Yes, you heard it right. Much like entering a city at night isn't a crime, but certain activities within that city could be. The dark web, like any tool, can be used for good or ill. It's a haven for whistleblowers, journalists, and those living under oppressive regimes to communicate safely. But it's also a playground for illegal activities, from selling illicit substances to trading stolen data. Using Tor to access the dark web is like putting on an invisibility cloak. It protects your identity and privacy, allowing you to browse without leaving digital footprints. But remember, this doesn't give you a free pass to engage in illegal activities. The laws of your country still apply, and while Tor makes tracing difficult, it's not impossible for skilled investigators. So there you have it, a brief look at how to access the dark web. It's a fascinating realm of the internet that remains largely unexplored by the average user. But like any expedition into the unknown, it's essential to proceed with caution and respect for the law. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is on the dark web? Let's dive in and explore the spectrum that ranges from good to bad, and unfortunately, to the downright ugly. Let's start with the positive. The dark web can be a haven for those seeking to protect their privacy or communicate under oppressive regimes. Dissidents, activists, and whistleblowers often turn to the dark web to share their stories, free from the fear of reprisal. Privacy advocates also frequent this hidden corner of the internet, championing the right to online anonymity and freedom from surveillance. But there's also a darker side to the dark web, a breeding ground for illegal activities. This is where the bad comes in. Stolen data, counterfeit money, illicit drugs, you name it, it's likely to be found here. The anonymity provided by this part of the internet can unfortunately be exploited by those with malicious intent, leading to a thriving black market and the proliferation of cybercrime. And then, we venture into the realm of the ugly. The dark web can be a cesspool of disturbing content. Here, the most depraved aspects of humanity may surface, shielded by the cloak of anonymity. This is where the most sinister rumors about the dark web originate. In the midst of all this you may have heard of the Mariana's Web, 
a supposed deepest layer of the internet filled with the most top secret information and darkest mysteries. Despite its captivating narrative, it's largely considered a myth, a ghost story of the digital age. The dark web is already complex enough without adding fictional layers. So, as you can see, the dark web is not a monolith. It's a complex network rife with both promise and peril. It's a tool that can be wielded for good or ill, depending on the user's intent. It's a place where the line between right and wrong blurs, where the legal and the illicit often collide. Indeed, the dark web is not all black and white, it's a spectrum of gray shades. Ever wondered why cryptocurrency and the dark web are often mentioned together? Well, let's dive into the digital abyss and uncover this enigma. You see, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin play a pivotal role in the dark web's economy. Why is that, you ask? Well, the answer lies in the intrinsic features of cryptocurrencies themselves. They are decentralized, meaning no single entity controls them. This decentralization makes it hard for authorities to track transactions, making it a preferred choice for those who value their privacy or are involved in illicit activities. Cryptocurrencies operate using a technology called blockchain. This technology records transactions across many computers to ensure the record can't be altered retroactively without the alteration of all subsequent blocks. This guarantees the immutability and transparency of transactions, while also providing a certain level of anonymity. Bitcoin, the most well-known cryptocurrency, is commonly used on the dark web, but it's not the only one. Other cryptocurrencies like Monero and Zcash offer even greater privacy. Their complex algorithms hide the sender, receiver, and transaction amount, making them virtually untraceable. But it's not all cloak and dagger. Cryptocurrencies also serve legitimate purposes on the dark web. For instance, whistleblowers and political dissidents may use them to make anonymous donations or fund operations without fear of reprisal. Journalists and researchers can also use cryptocurrencies to access information and resources without revealing their identities. It's important to note that while cryptocurrencies provide a degree of anonymity, they are not entirely untraceable. Sophisticated techniques can potentially link transactions back to individuals. So, while cryptocurrencies offer a veil of anonymity, it's not an impenetrable one. That being said, the role of cryptocurrencies in the dark web is undeniable. They lubricate the wheels of this hidden economy enabling transactions across the globe without the need for traditional banking systems. Cryptocurrency, the dark web's favorite currency, adds another layer of secrecy to this clandestine world. This interplay between cryptocurrencies and the dark web is a testament to the incredible, yet sometimes terrifying, possibilities of technology. The dark web's anonymity raises several ethical and legal questions, let's explore those. The dark web, often shrouded in mystery and intrigue, is a place where the concept of anonymity is taken to its extreme. This complete anonymity has profound ethical implications. On one hand, it can be a powerful tool for ensuring freedom of speech and privacy. In countries with oppressive regimes, for instance, the dark web can provide a lifeline for activists and dissidents, allowing them to communicate without fear of reprisal. Similarly, it can also protect individuals who might otherwise be targeted for their views or whistleblowing activities. On the other hand, the veil of anonymity can facilitate illegal activities, from the sale of illicit substances to the distribution of harmful content. The dark web has been known to harbor sites that engage in illegal activities, making it a haven for criminal networks. This has raised significant ethical questions, such as whether the benefits of protecting privacy and free speech outweigh the risks of enabling illegal activities. Law enforcement agencies worldwide have been grappling with these issues, trying to balance the need for security with respect for privacy. This has led to attempts to monitor and control illegal activities on the dark web. However, these efforts are often met with significant challenges due to the very nature of the dark web itself. With users adept at maintaining their anonymity and sites frequently changing their locations, it can be like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. Moreover, these attempts at regulation raise further ethical questions. How far should law enforcement be allowed to go in their surveillance? Is it ethical to infringe on someone's privacy in the name of security? These are not easy questions to answer, and the debate continues to rage on. In conclusion, the dark web is a complex and intricate web of ethical and legal dilemmas. It is a place where the struggle for privacy and freedom of speech collides with the fight against crime and illegal activities. The dark web remains a legal and ethical battleground, a tug of war between privacy and security. If you're planning to explore the dark web, it's essential to know how to protect yourself. 
Navigating the dark web isn't like a leisurely stroll through your favorite social media site. It's more akin to venturing into a digital wilderness with all the potential risks that entails. But don't worry, with the right tools and a healthy dose of caution, you can mitigate these risks. Firstly, your journey into the dark web should always begin with a virtual private network, or VPN. This tool masks your IP address, making it difficult for anyone to trace your online activity back to you. Think of it as a cloak of invisibility in the digital world. However, not all VPNs are created equal. It's crucial to choose a reputable provider that doesn't log your activity. Next, you'll need a secure browser. Many dark web explorers opt for Tor, a browser designed to protect your anonymity by bouncing your connection through several servers around the world. This multi-layered approach obscures your digital footprint, making you harder to track. However, remember that even the best tools can't fully protect you if you're not careful. It's like having the world's best lock on your front door but leaving your windows wide open. Don't download anything from the dark web, don't click on suspicious links and never, ever provide any personal information. Also, be mindful of legal implications. While it's not illegal to browse the dark web, engaging in illegal activities such as purchasing illegal goods or participating in malicious activities is still against the law. The cloak of anonymity the dark web provides isn't foolproof, and law enforcement agencies have ways of tracking criminal activity. Lastly, discretion is key. The less you interact, the less risk you expose yourself to. It's best to observe and not engage unless absolutely necessary. Remember, safety first, even in the virtual world. The dark web can be a fascinating place to explore, but just like any journey into the unknown, it's essential to venture forth with caution and the right tools at your disposal. As we conclude our journey, let's recap what we've learned about the dark web. This murky and mysterious part of the internet is not for the faint-hearted. It's a place where anonymity is paramount and where the conventional rules of the internet often don't apply. We started off by peeling back the layers of the dark web, revealing it as a hidden underbelly of the internet that is often misunderstood. This isn't your everyday internet, it's an encrypted network where both the good and the bad reside. We then talked about how one can access this clandestine part of the internet. Remember, it requires special software and a dose of caution. Although it's not illegal to browse the dark web, what you do there can certainly cross legal lines. And speaking of legality, we delved into the good, the bad, and the ugly aspects of the dark web. It's a place where privacy is respected, which can be a haven for activists and whistleblowers. But it's also a breeding ground for illegal activities, from drug trading to cybercrime. Then we connected the dots between the dark web and cryptocurrency. The anonymous nature of digital currencies like Bitcoin makes them the preferred mode of transaction on the dark web. However, this connection also contributes to the negative perception of both the dark web and cryptocurrencies. Next, we wrestled with the ethical implications and legal issues surrounding the dark web. It's a double-edged sword offering a platform for free speech and privacy, yet also enabling illicit activities. Understanding this duality is key to navigating the ethical conundrums of the dark web. Finally, we shared tips on how to protect yourself if you decide to venture into the dark web. The importance of using VPNs, being wary of suspicious links and maintaining a high level of discretion cannot be overstated. In the end, the dark web, like any tool, is as good or as bad as the person using it. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep exploring the digital universe.